Hi children, welcome to Euclid Learning. So this is the chapter 6 of grade 9. So if you haven't watched my previous videos for grade 9, please go and visit them first. So this is the 6th chapter for grade 9. So it is uh, about ICT and society. So here uh, they are talking about uh, what is the impact of ICT uh, for the society, right? Uh, in these two kids are talking, the method of teaching has been changed, right? Because we have ICT, uh, we can have audio playing, we can have presentations, we can see photos. Uh, so it's very interactive way of learning, right? So that is actually called as e-learning. Right, so uh, that means uh, teaching and learning using ICT and internet, right? So not only in education field, ICT has uh, brought like so many changes in uh, other fields as well. So ICT has helped to complete uh, things very efficient way and very quickly way. Uh, so we got so many um, areas affected due to ICT. So first they are talking about uh, schools, right? E-learning, right? So we can uh, teach very in a very explanative way, right? Even now what I'm doing is, is kind of a e-learning, right? So distance learning. So I can very easily share my screen and teach you. Uh, so it's very interactive and very, um, uh, under, it's very easy to understand, right? So, uh, Next thing is uh, collecting information can be very easily done through the internet. Now, when when I'm schooling, when they ask to uh, build up some uh, assignment or some booklets and all reports, so we have only the resource we had was the libraries, right? So we have to go to the library, so we have to ask from my elder. So that's the only way we could have uh, collect the information. But nowadays, with the internet, it's very easy to search any articles. You have so many resources, videos, images, and text-based uh, reports. So it's very easy to gain information. Next thing is uh, communication, right? So messaging, uh, like within the school students, as well as uh, messaging with other uh, schools as well. So you can learn anything from anywhere at any time you want, right? Uh, so it's the main thing, main advantage, like we're based online learning and distance learning. Uh, so these things are able because uh, of the ICT. Then comes the e-health, right? So uh, especially for the diagnosis, we have so many computer-based modern equipments and uh, tools, uh, very accurate and very uh, like sophisticated ones. And second thing is like uh, we can keep uh, patient information in very secure way. We can uh, use them in a more productive way. Uh, another thing is the telemedicine. They don't talk about telemedicine in grade nine, but if you go to the grade 10, definitely you will learn about telemedicine. That means patient can be in one place Doctor can be another place, but still this um, health uh, facility can be provided. Not only that, sometimes uh, like uh, an operation can be conducted uh, with the help of a consultant who is not actually physically in that place. So that is what telemedicine uh, means, right? telehealth uh, means, right? Next thing is uh, public service, right? E-governance. So all the bill payments, all the relevant information, forms, all these things can be gathered through internet, right? For example, even the applications of uh, uh, state universities. So online you can apply now, okay? Uh, to obtain circulars, legal documents, and uh, some services like revenue license and all these things. We can uh, renew using online services. No need to go to the particular places itself. Uh, even uh, the map of the Sri Lanka can be considered as kind of a public service because uh, you can get all the road maps and all these things and uh, easily navigate. 
then comes e-commerce right exchange of goods through internet online buying and selling right so in especially in this corona situation e-commerce has been like boosted uh, because uh, people don't want to go to the particular shops physically uh, they preferred especially in the lockdown times uh, this played a huge role in our lives so uh, hope uh, you know our country is a developing country even when i am schooling it was a developing country it was something uh, like tragic thing uh, but uh, our country is still developing country and there are developed countries right so uh, like that uh, when it comes to the information communication technology that means ict uh, some uh, people or some countries have access to the resources and some countries don't have so we have a term called digital divide right but basically it talks about if you see the picture clearly you can see some people don't have access to computers that ict knowledge and everything internet but uh, there's another party who have access so this is the term called digital divide that means uh, some societies in the world have access to all the computer related ict related resources but some countries don't have so this gap between uh, the countries who have and the countries who don't have not only countries even the people the gap between these two groups uh, is actually called as digital divide so this can be even seen in a school in a country in a world itself so digital divide can be clearly seen so second part they are talking about actually e waste and uh, the diseases we can get due to this so uh, sometimes you may have seen like uh, these um, electronic waste uh, these computers series and all these things are very uh, dangerous it's it's not only uh, making the environment dirty and ugly and unpleasant but it can also harm the people not like that you are throwing some vegetables Yeah, throwing vegetables to the road is not nice and pleasant, but it won't do much harm in the health side. But if you throw a CD or those kind of e-waste, so here they have mentioned e-waste, uh, it can harm uh, the health. Okay, so like motherboards, mobile devices, cables, batteries, keyboards, printers, screens. right monitors cds all these things are considered as electronic waste so don't just throw away electronic waste right uh, because uh, it those uh, e waste can actually release lot of toxic poisons right so hope you may have heard some of these terms like selenium beryllium mercury chromium arsenic arsenic is very popular term you may have heard lead barium right uh, so so many uh, harmful uh, like uh, metals and all right so they are creating lot of problems right if you see like uh, cancers one of the main thing you can uh, get right Uh, cancers can be in lungs in the brain uh, it will uh, create different kind of allergies skin diseases like right? uh, physical weaknesses liver issues right kidney issues right uh, all these problems can be uh, due to releasing this toxic poisons so for the exam purpose you remember few of these things and the bad effects uh it can cause uh, most of the answers can have this cancers nobody can not tell that's wrong so you for any um, kind of these um, poison you can write cancers very easily uh, but uh, try to remember some of these uh, chemicals and the metals and the problems you will have okay so how can we minimize the e waste right there is a concept called 3 r technique right there are three r's so first thing is reduce that means you reduce unnecessary purchases 
Now think uh, your keyboard, one of the keys is not functioning. So one, there are two options you can go for. One thing is you throw away the keyboard and buy a new one. Second option is you repair your keyboard. So what's the best thing? Repairing your keyboard and reusing kind of thing, right? So it is actually uh, coming under reduce, right? Because you are, uh, and you try to avoid the purchases, right? Second thing is reuse, right? You reuse means use again and again. Maybe after repairing, sometimes now, for example, think that the monitor is or the CPU, the system unit is like broken and you are going to throw it away, right? So uh, you can use as a flower pot, right? That plastic case, you can fill up uh, soil and uh, use as a pot, right? So like that, you can uh, use for different purposes. Maybe you are repairing and using, or you can use the same thing rather than just throwing away. Now, if you think about CDs also, people are doing very creative things uh, with CDs. They collect them and do very creative things. So rather than just throw away and burn or something like that, better to reuse. Right? The last thing is to recycle, especially these plastic things and all metals, uh, we can easily recycle. So what you can do is uh, if you have these e-waste, collect them and give it to suitable agencies uh, so they can do the recycling. Next come the computer related job opportunities. So if you think about myself, I'm a, uh, I'm doing a job related to um, ICT, right? So uh, teaching is not the main occupation of me, but uh, because of ICT, there are so many new opportunities, have job opportunities have been arising, right? Earlier days, like in our parents, that means I'm talking about 30 years, 40 years back, uh, they were mainly knowing doctors, engineers, those are the best things. But now it's totally different. Uh, now, when you think about my occupation, it's having total freedom. Salaries are good and I'm working from home, right? Uh, so actually it's uh, very uh, free and kind of a very uh, good opportunity, right? So you don't have to be a doctor or an engineer or something like that. This is also engineering aspect is their computer engineering. But I mean, uh, civil engineers, those were the things which were very popular like 40 years back. Those days we didn't have any software engineers, quality assurance engineers, uh, computer architects. Those job opportunities were not there earlier. But now we have it. Okay, now also it's a bit old, like uh, around uh, 10, 15 years uh, uh, History is there for those occupations, but these are things something new. So don't think always to get, be a doctor or a teacher or like that. Those are traditional jobs we had, but now we have so many new opportunities. Now these are few uh, uh, things, few job opportunities you can think of. So uh, this is software engineer and programmer are something similar and web application developer. Uh, so they are doing the development thing and uh, software quality assurance. These are the people who actually uh, test the functionalities, right? Testers and data administrators. These people are basically working with databases, right? Software architects. These people are like top level people. They will do the designing and uh, uh, kind of uh, designing the architecture, how these components should be interact and all these things, right? Graphic designers, you may know a lot of these advertisements, magazines, uh, images, like very colorful uh, logos, right? All these things are done by the graphic designers. Then comes the system analysis, like the uh, e-commerce consultants or the business analysts. Uh, these are the people who uh, talk with the customers and get their requirements and uh, try to make a, a workable solution. Then that solution will be built up by the programmers and the developers and the software engineers. And QA people or the quality assurance people will do the testing. So that's how it works. And network administrators are there basically for the 
computer network related like installations, configurations and maintenance purpose. Uh, IT consultants are there sometimes in other fields like uh, health, uh, finance and all these other sectors may need some kind of IT consultancy uh, for their organizations. Okay, that's the end of the chapter. It's not very big chapter. It's like common sense stuff, uh, like what is ICT and what is uh, the impact on it and health problems and all these things were talked. So uh, the ICT is used in different kind of uh, applications, kind of uh, different sectors, education, health, commerce, public services, industries, uh, many day-to-day -day activities are affected. Right. Then they are talking about digital divide. That means uh, the societies, are, some societies are having access to ICT resources. Some societies are not having. So the gap between these two is called digital divide. Then comes the e-waste, how to uh, uh, dispose them properly, right? Because it can, if you improperly dispose, it can be a great threat for all the living beings and the, to the environment. So there's something called 3R concept, right? Uh, reduce, reuse, and recycle. Uh, so that can be used for the proper uh, disposal of e-waste. And there are so many new job opportunities have been arisen due to ICT. Uh, like software engineers, software quality assurance engineers, project managers, software architects, business analysts, database administrators, so many new job opportunities, right? Okay, so that's the end of the chapter six and the end of the grade nine textbook as well. Uh, so thank you uh, for listening. So if you haven't su still subscribed my channel, please do subscribe. And uh, if you haven't, um, press the bell notification also press it so you will get notification uh, when I am uploading new videos. So I'm planning to do uh, the workbook activities, uh, but it will be take time, we'll see. Uh, so thank you very much.